everybody, I'm Charles Yates and I will be the facilitator for this eight week journey that we'll be taking together. This class is uh, MN 5000 Personal Spiritual Disciplines and this brief video is just an introduction to that course. Of course, this you already know that this is an eight weeks course, part of the Master of Arts in Theological Studies at Midwestern Baptist Theological Seminary. We're going to be dealing with personal spiritual disciplines as the name of the course implies and we're going to be discussing purposes of these disciplines, we're going to be discussing goals, we're going to be discussing what good they are for you in your personal walk with Jesus Christ. But before with that, let me introduce myself a little further. As I said, my name is Charles Yates. I am a pastor here at Concord Baptist Church in Bates City, Missouri. I am also a doctoral student in the Doctor of Educational Ministry program at Midwestern. I graduated there with my Master of Divinity in Christian Education this past May. And what I'd like to do is to get to know you, so please introduce yourself through the discussion forum links on the website. Now, we're going to be talking about personal spiritual disciplines, and some of those we're going to be talking about include inward disciplines, outward disciplines, corporate disciplines, and then some other disciplines that we're going to have to decide just what category they fit inside. Inward disciplines are things like prayer and fasting, learning, meditation. Outward disciplines are things like evangelism, service, simplicity, solitude, and submission. Corporate worship is, I mean, corporate disciplines are like worship. Worship is a corporate discipline. There are some others that the authors of our text discuss. And also the, the other disciplines sort of like stewardship, um, evangelizing, journalism, things of that nature. We have to kind of decide what category they fit in. And there'll be some categories we also discuss. Now, our textbooks for this course are two. One is Don Whitney, who's a graduate of MBTS, and his book is Spiritual Disciplines for the Christian Life. And the other textbook is a classic by Richard Foster. It's called Celebration of Disciplines. And between these two texts, we're going to discover their different views and their similarities on the personal spiritual disciplines. Now, one good thing about online courses is you can do them pretty much at your own pace. However, there is a schedule. There is an eight-week schedule, units one through eight. And there will be a, five, a three to five-minute video on each discussion question or each interactive forum that we have. And as progressively we go through the course, we'll see these. There's some assignments that we have in this course. Also, mentor meetings you're going to have to have. You're going to have to choose a mentor. You're going to have to get me through the Blackboard the information on your mentor on the things that you're going to be need to do and then you're going to have to choose between three projects the first project is a spiritual discipline integration paper done in Turabian style as everything at the seminary seems to be also you need to choose between that or a spiritual retreat of which you'll catalog and categorize exactly what happened in your spiritual retreat and then third there is a daily journal where you keep up not only with your spiritual disciplines but sermons that you heard things that you've studied you will categorize uh, catalog all these things and they will be turned in. Your mentor will review you and help you do these things and then they will be turned in during week eight to finish up the course. Again, if there's any questions, please feel free to email me. My email address for school purposes is cyates, all small letters, cyates at mbts.edu. There should be a caption on the bottom of your screen that shows this. Also, any communication done about the course needs to be done through that email to make it official. Everything has to be official. Again, if there's any questions, please feel free to contact me. I also have a cell phone number that I've made available through the Introduce Yourself portion of the Blackboard. Now, in just a few minutes, we're going, you're probably going to look at Unit 1 video, and we're going to be discussing the things in Unit 1. Each week, we will have different aspects to answer, different chapters to read in Whitney and Foster. We will also have assignments done, assignments to turn in. Unit 1 basically is an introductory unit, so I hope that when you view this video you will see the need for personal spiritual disciplines, and I hope you enjoy the course. When I took this course, I took it as a standard course here at the seminary. I enjoyed it. I got a lot out of it, and I hope you do too. The main problem that I see as a pastor with personal spiritual disciplines is the fact I don't do them enough. And I think this is endemic of all congregations. Many people don't do these disciplines. Now, 
We have some that say the disciplines are not what make you Christian, and I agree. It's not disciplines that make you an active participant in the walk with Christ. It is relationship. But in that relationship, there are things that you can do to move you closer to Christ. And I hope as we go through this course, you'll get to know these things, you'll begin to practice them, and you will change your ideas and your heart as to whether these things are important or not. I believe they are, and I hope that this course will teach you such. Thank you again, and I look forward to teaching you. Thank you.